Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and today I'm up with a Panelisa design team haul. Now I'm actually going to do this haul in two parts. Yes I am. The first part is today, the second part is tomorrow and then I will spend a couple of days of making projects. So I'm going to go in with the dies first and what was sent to me and that is a Santa gift box now it could be any kind of gift box but it does come with a belt so you can put a santa belt around your box or it could be any other belt if you wanted to make it kind of masculine or it's got the lovely scallop frame and it can be feminine so it's basically an all year round gift box right next up i have a large frame and i will measure this in a minute once i've emptied my hands and as you can see there you've got the holly in the corners and it's very lacy and scrolly and if i get it the right way around that says merry christmas in the center and you could of course make a rather large shaker using that too Right, next up I have got a cute little helicopter and a little character that sits in there. It might be a bear. It looks like a little bear's head to me, which is that one. If it's not, I'm making it anyway and we will find out what exactly it is. But that's a lovely size and I'll measure that in a second. And then we've got cute little critters, little safari critters, elephant, tiger, a little hippo. A little cute giraffe, you've got the binoculars and the um, safari app and you've even got a little compass and tiny little paw prints there that fit and die cut onto those and I think that's the elephant's trunk so that's really cute and then we have some really sweet little Christmas elements we've got a little deer deer and we've got all the little hats and what have you so that's really sweet and then we have some crochet. I think that's crochet. Yeah, I can see the hook. So you've got a heart-shaped crochet ball, a little crochet hook. And I think that says, hello, hello, crochet. Yeah, we'll find out. I'll make that. That looks like a good one for Valentine's Day. And then a really cute little cup. That is just really sweet. Right, I'm going to grab the rest of the pile. Um, first down, we have a very large stamp set. Right, at this point, I will start measuring in a second. This stamp set is huge. Put my hand underneath it. Thinking of you at Christmas, all is calm, all is bright. You've got a gorgeous Christmas tree. You've got the lovely stockings. You've got the little bar with the ornaments on. And that is a beautiful joy there, that sentiment. You've got a simple Merry Christmas stand here. Now, one of the things that they do on AliExpress is when they measure a stamp set, it's the carrier sheet. So I will measure the carrier sheet, but I'm also going to measure the stamp set. So that will basically say eight and a quarter inches on uh, the website. But that ornament is two and three eighths of an inch. And then the tree, let's get right down to there. I'm going to say four and one eighth of an inch. And then you've got that stocking swag. If I go over there, that's three and three eighths. So you can see it is a lovely size set and like I said, I'm putting my hand under there just so that you can see. So that's a beautiful stamp set, but really nice watercolored. Right, I'll push that out of the way. Now, the little cup doesn't need to be made to measure, and that is two and three sixteenths. If I do the heart, we are at two and three sixteenths, and then the crocheting hook there is at three and seven eighths so that's a lovely size and then we've got a mixture of little critters here but i'll i'll measure the christmas deer and that is two and five eighths so you know it's quite easy to rough assess that little glove and hat and then these are just so sweet so that little hippo is one and a half inches and 
the giraffe might be the tallest of them. That is one and fifteen sixteenths. I'm going to say one and seven eighths. <laughs> it just sounds easier, doesn't it? That helicopter is huge. Yes, it is. Cut line. We are four and a quarter inches. And you've even got the bit there. So that needs to be made up, really, to get its full measurement. But the size of this is big. And this cuts into, it doesn't cut out of. So that is seven inches by four and, oh, let me get that over there border to border by five so that means that your cardstock or whatever it is you're using needs to be at least a quarter of an inch bigger than that so that it will cut the frame in nicely for you but I will be doing that one and then the box I'm not going to measure because that needs to be made up right next up I'll push these over to one side and we have papers I am trying to work in size here now, I need to make sure that I'm getting the correct ones. Now, I believe these are stickers. Yes, they are. And I have received two of them. So, I'll put my thumb there. You can see how big those stickers are. They're really cute. Very vintage. I'm going to open a package. And let's have a look. Now, actually, I don't think these are stickers. I think the other pack is stickers, although it does say stickers on the paper. Let me check that out. Christmas and stickers. Christmas paper and stickers. Maybe it's a multi-pack. So we've got desserts and labels. And it doesn't feel like stickers to me. Maybe Panelisa can pop on. I may have it wrong, and I'm feeling it because I, I usually know what a sticker feels like. But I think these are vintage. Oh, hang on a minute. Let me try and hold this in the light and look at it. Because it might be a sticker sheet that you fussy cut yourself. And you know me, I've got no nails. Ah, yes, they are, look. Can you see that? It's a sticker sheet that you fussy cut yourself. So if you're somebody who doesn't like borders, you can, you know, crop really closely. So that is that. And I was actually sent two of them. And I believe that they're both exactly the same. Yes, they are. So these are vintage Christmas stickers. And I'm trying to see the writing. And it's really difficult against that pattern background. But there are eight pieces. So if I can get my camera to behave, there is sheet number one. And there are two of those. That gingerbread is so cute. And then we've got two labels that can be cut out. And you've got the gingerbread on that one. And then we've got another set of labels so close we can get so that you can see the details really vintage and lovely these are ATC size if you're thinking of stickers to go onto ATCs and then look at that lovely vintage desserts candy canes cookies that is just so sweet I love that great for doing recipe cards you know to put onto the back of them so there are two of those right so that is those and I've received two packs of those so along with my um other repeats that I keep showing you I keep getting like twos of things um I will make sure that they go into the uh Christmas giveaway so you're kind of like monitoring what's going in there and there will be other surprises in that giveaway too right so those are my sticker sheets and i'll put that one on there and this one is a writable sticker so i think these are sticker sheets too so let's get these open and have a look 
So we've got that lovely vintage dusky holly. Two of those. There are two trees. I'm making sure that I'm finding them all. And then you've got two of those lovely berries and leaves. And then we've got two of the Noel. And these are the same as the others. The backs peel off, I believe. And these are stickers. So I'm just holding it up to myself to make sure that I'm correct. Yes, they are. As you can see, look, it's a sticker sheet. Lovely for die cutting frames with. Because you can just stick it straight down. Right, so that is those. And the measurements on these are, I'm just grabbing my ruler off camera. These are six and a half inches square. So I will pop those back into the bag after. And then I'm grabbing my other ones. As I said, I'm working down in size. And these are um, a heavier weight cardstock. As you can see, they are all labels and numbers. And I don't know if that one's in there. No, I think that's just a pattern on the back. So I'm quickly opening this. So I'm trying not to take up all your time. Because when you start getting everything out, make sure that's one. Yeah, these are heavy weight. You can see the thickness there. So these are all numbers and labels. And these are lovely. Great for planner pages. Great for doing vintage stuff. So there are those. And then there are these, which are chipboard. Again. And you've got an owl. You've got wild birds. You've got flowers. You've got butterflies. And there's also sheets on the back too. So let's have a look here. Let's grab a few out and see what we've got. So we've got postcards. You've got pansies or violets. You've got lovely little wildflowers. You've got little cards. These are really sweet. Look at that. You've got a fern. Oh, I hope my camera's behaving. And then you've got these gorgeous little numbers. Let's see how close I can get on that one. Sometimes it goes telescopic if you behave. But I don't think it's going to. Ah, oh, there we go. So you've got little numbers like that. And if I can tip it over to the side, you can see how thick that is. I would say it's twice the thickness of a cereal box. That's the best way that I can describe that. And you've got all those lovely little um, admit tickets. These are perfect to go on ATCs or even ATC coins. Right, I'm just going to pause while I pop all that back in. Right, and next up we have a pack of papers. And I'm just going to turn that over and try to get as close as I can so that you can see those. It's really tiny on the back of that packet. Yeah, that's not showing very clearly. So if I get those out, I mean, these are just absolutely gorgeous. The thickness of them and the feel of them is almost like a napkin. It's like the smooth side of a napkin. That's the best way that I can describe it. And that almost looks embossed, but it isn't. But you've got the old-fashioned circus there. Just really pretty. I think you get four of each style. Then you've got that lovely frame. And it's called Chapters of Lace, that one. So I'm just going to pop that there. And then next up, we have doors. So these are like chipboard doors. And like I said, when I say chipboard, I'm kind of thinking twice the thickness of um, a cereal packet. 
so I'll just close that up so they don't get stuck on there so we've got all kinds of doors in here these are really sweet if you've got um, a box a box die that you want to put a door onto you can distress the edges on these you can paint them up really nice doors Ooh, really like that they look very Italian right so those are the doors and then next up we have some more papers I'm just opening the booklet here that's a, a vintage seed calendar there on the front with nasturtiums really rich colors oh I don't want to send my camera funny and I don't know how many same sheets that you get but I'm doing it sideways on try not to send you giddy isn't that lovely oh ooh, blackberries strawberries and cherries I mean these are just perfect if you've got seed packet dies and uh, you want to fancy them up this is absolutely perfect for that isn't that nice all wildflowers vintage scripts again elements to cut out just really lovely well, I hope I'm not sending you giddy so that is that package put that there so I know where it goes and then next up we've got something I think it says dibble but let's open it and find out and lots of sheets on this one as well this one's actually bound oh it says ribble Penrith and Windermere I'm trying to get some it's all right it's getting really overcast here at the moment so what you've got here is a booklet of lots of different styles of receipts by the look of it you've got quite a few repeaters so that you don't have to be worried about using them because that's one of my problems I'll use something I think ah oh, no it's gone and I can't use it again but you've got plenty here and great for junk journaling or you can even use them to cut small envelopes so as I said lots and lots that repeat so that's a great little set Ooh, what does that say Yellowway Motor Services in Bonnie Scotland and look at the way the crease in the page I've got to hold that one up it just looks creased doesn't it but it's not it's flat how cool is that right so that is my Ribble Penrith Windermere pack and then next up is a great one for doing recipe cards and the backs of recipe cards just to fancy things up a bit and I will quickly flick through this one and then because this this video will take me five hours to upload um, I will just show the other several items that I have left which are paper items um, in their packets so lemon meringue pie if you like that or is that coconut yeah coconut cream pie oh gosh this will make you hungry right we've got pancakes Vermont made syrup once again you've got quite a few images so that you don't feel that you've used everything up that's a really good one that's almost a Rockwell design isn't it oh spam oh isn't that awesome let's have a close-up of spam oh I love that 
That's got to find its way into my recipe book. Who doesn't love spam? <laughs> All the different ways that you can do spam. Peppermint chip chiffon. Oh, I wish I could eat sugar. Come into the kitchen. Betty King. That's a Christmas cake. That's awesome. And then you've got one there. Variations of the biscuit dough. And it's quite nice to have these recipes because I wonder if they work. Might try one. And then you've got small cakes and cookies. And that's uh, date nut bars and chocolate fruit patties. Got all kinds of food going on. Oh, goodness me. Do you remember those days? I remember when everybody used to put bright green and red food colouring in everything. <laughs> they used to bring it to the table. And I just thought it was an alien-esque looking disaster. Oh, dear. There you go. Fruit cocktail. Eggnog pie. That sounds like a good one for Christmas. And then you've got all your five kinds of brownies. And if I get in close there, you might need a magnifying glass, but all of the recipes and oven temperatures are there. So you can actually use these recipes too. French pastry. That takes a bit long to, uh, to make, actually. Baking powder biscuits and similar mixtures. Well, I don't know about you, but my biscuit dough is really easy. It's just... Um, Oh, I'm trying to think what it is. White lily flour and uh, heavy cream. That's all I use to make biscuits. My husband likes them. <laughs> he hasn't thrown them at me yet. Put it that way. <laughs> Sponge cakes. Imperial sunshine cake. And that sounds great too. And we're back to the coconut cream pie. So if you're somebody who loves to do recipe type things, then you're going to love that one because, you know, I'll hold it up. Let's see how close we can get. There you go. You can actually see what is written. Of course, if you've got a camera like me, you just hold it under the camera and complete your recipe. Right. Little things. And we have embossed circle frames, which are really sweet. Embossed square frames. Things like that just make really great additions. We have embossed oval frames, and these are all in neutral and craft colours. We have very steampunk looking clocks. So there are lots of different designs in there, and I'll try and get them out when, uh, when there's more time. And then we have some more natural looking clocks and you've got a hole there so if you've got any watch parts do you remember when we used to use watch parts for steampunk i've still got a big tin of my stuff you know all sort of like um watch glasses and uh, all the hands the metal hands and stuff and they look great on stuff like that and what else have i got here we have the um the earth so we've got stickers yeah, engraving series they're called. So those are all maps. There's a close one. The Pacific Ocean. And reaching across the desk, we have another vintage floral. And of course, um, I don't mind rushing through these because I know that they're all shown and displayed on Panelisa's website. So that's my cheat to get out of uploading for five hours. And then we have another one. Whoops. Let's see. I might be getting too close to my camera. I'll move stuff down. No, that's not working, is it? I'm trying to think. Yeah, these are like little collages of uh, magazines. And I've got another one similar. Ah, that's why. It's because it's got that lovely acetate top on it. There you can see it's just lots of little pieces. Just put together little collages. Really sweet for just tearing apart and putting in your junk journal. 
once again lots of pieces so you don't have to worry about using them all up and there is another one similar but this one is a collage of all different tickets and receipts and reaching across again we have a lacy book and there are some images there keep my hands still and those are all like textured lace and if I flip that over you can see that really pretty and last but not least we have this one which is postal and uh, sort of like aviation postal so let's open this one and have a look so we've got that wonderful acetate cover again so you can see the true brightness there isn't that lovely if you like making little mini envelopes you've got stamps oh barcodes that's rather recent then I think that's Egypt oops New York so you've got the, the balloon there, the zeppelin, collages of stamps, more stamps, don't know who that one is. Liechtenstein, that's Germany isn't it, I think, I hope. <laughs> if I've got that wrong you can let me know. Bogota, Colombia. So just a wonderful collection of little stamps that you can make your own little... If you've got an envelope board, you can make little mini envelopes. And there's old Abe. And back to New York. So that's the little postal stamp set. And of course you get quite a lot of sheets in there lots and lots and I don't know if it says so on the back and if it does I can't figure it out because it doesn't say so on the bag so I'm guessing looking at that that there's probably 50 sheets in there and that is what I have for you today now I am up again tomorrow with another design team haul from Panalisa because two packages came in together so I'll be sharing that with you and then we'll be making a bunch of stuff going into the end of the week. I thank you so much for joining me today and as usual all links below. Bye.